with its two subclasses, the Alea class and the Heads class, the SAR 4.5 class has a distinctive place in the world of the missile boats. They have many different features compared to their counterparts in the world. These fast attack crafts are the fruits of the Israeli experiences in this field forged in real combat. Now, we are investigating the SAR 4.5 class, the modern Davids who challenged the Goliaths. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. Also, now you can click the join button to support our channel. Actually, describing the SAR 4.5 as a single class is wrong. Its subclasses, the Alea and Hats, are sisters which have completely different features. Let's take a look at the history of them. The early Israeli missile boats had been equipped with the locally developed short-range Gabriels. But in the late 1970s, Israel acquired the long-range RGM-84 harpoons from the USA. However, the Israeli Navy did not have over-horizon targeting capability, so it required a new vessel which could accommodate a helicopter. Actually, Israel had already worked on this capability. In 1977, the SAR 4-class INS Tarshish had been modified for helicopter operations. The 76mm stern gun had been dismantled and the boat had been fitted with a helipad. Using this experience, Israel shipyards began the design works. The new boat would be a stretched version of the previous SAR 4-class. They would have a hangar and helipad. The first vessel of the new SAR 4.5 class, INS Alia, was launched and commissioned in 1980. In the beginning, the vessel had been designated as the Hohit class. Later, it was renamed as the Alia class. Initially, Israel had planned to build five vessels of this class. But because of the helipad and hangar, there was no space for a big gun on the boat. Also, the Alea class could only carry a small number of missiles. So, its combat capability was less than the Israel Navy's expectations. Thus, Israel began to consider acquiring bigger surface combatants with a helipad and hangar. Later, this would become the SAR-5 program. So, after completing the first two boats, Israel shipyards began to change the design. The other three vessels of the class would be more conventional missile boats. The first two, INS Roma and INS Keshe, were commissioned in 1981 and 1982, respectively. The last boat, INS Nirit, was laid down in 1984. However, now Israel began to focus on the SAR-5 class. So the Navy demanded some modifications on the boat as a test platform on the new Corvette subsystems. INS Nirit was fitted with a vertical launching system for air defense missiles. Her deck was also highly modified. Because of these modifications and budget cuts, the construction work on the boat took a long time. During this time, her name was changed to INS Hetz. The vessel was launched in 1990 and commissioned in 1991. The result was spectacular. So, the previous INS Roma and INS Keshe were upgraded to match INS Hetz's specifications. Now, these three boats have turned into another subclass of the SAR 4.5, the Hetz class, while the INS Alia and INS Geula became the Alia subclass. Later, at first three SAR 4 class boats, INS Kidon, INS Tarshish and INS Yafo were rebuilt as the SAR 4.5 class in 1997 and 1998. As the second stage of this program, another two SAR 4 class vessels, INS Harev and INS Sufa were converted to Hetz class in 2002 and 2003. The semi-displacement steel hull is essentially designed for high-speed sailing. The superstructure is made of aluminum alloys and covered with radar absorbent materials. The design also reduces the radar cross-section. The superstructure is suitably cooled to minimize the thermal signature. The boat's overall radar signature is also reduced thanks to the reduced profile of the hull. Thanks to the increase in the dimensions compared to the previous SAR 4 class, the SAR 4.5 class provides better living conditions for the crew. 
These vessels can operate in up to Sea State 6. Today, Israel keeps only 8 boats of the Het subclass. Two Alaya subclass vessels were decommissioned in 2004 and sold to Mexico. The Mexican Navy still operate them under the designation of the Huracan class. Also, the Hellenic Coast Guard has three of the modified version of the SAR 4.5. Two of them were built in Israel and the last one was built in Greece. These patrol boats have only a 30mm gun and two remote controlled 12.7mm machine guns. Also, we should add that the OPV-62 class patrol boats of Azerbaijan, Cyprus, Honduras and Kazakhstan are designed based on the SAR 4.5 class. The complement of the head subclass is 50 person. It has a length of 61.7 meters, a beam of 7.6 meters and a draft of 2.8 meters. The standard displacement is 375 tons, while the fully loaded displacement is 490 tons. Four 4,095 horsepower MTU 16V538 TB93 diesel engines provide a maximum speed of 32 knots. The boat can reach a range of 5,560 km with an economical speed of 17 knots. Currently, the HEDS class has up to 8 RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles, 2 8-cell vertical launching systems for the Barrack-1 air defense missiles, 1 7.6mm Compato gun and 1 Mark 15 Phalanx close-in weapon system. Also, it is fitted with different caliber machine guns. We should note that only the first three Hess class vessels have a length of 61.7 meters, while the rest are 58 meters long. The complement of the Huracan class of the Mexican Navy is 47 person. It has a 0.4 meters lesser draft and fully loaded displacement is 10 tons higher. These boats are fitted with four 3,500 horsepower MTU 16V956 TB91 diesel engines, which provide a maximum speed of 31 knots. They can reach a range of 7,400 kilometers. The armament consists of four Gabriel Mark II anti-ship missiles, one Mark 15 Phalanx close and weapon system, and machine guns. Let's take a look at the subsystems of these boats. The Huracan subclass and HET subclass have H-band Neptune surface and air surveillance radars, whose range is 45 kilometers. Some of the HET class boats have been re-equipped with the S-band ELM-2258 Alpha 3D long-range air surveillance and tracking radar, whose range is 200 kilometers. It can track a fighter-sized aircraft at a range of up to 120 kilometers and a sea skimming missile within up to 25 kilometers. The Mexican vessels are fitted with the I-band RTV-10X Orion fire control radar. The HEDS class has the ELM-2221 dual-band fire control radar, which consists of X and KA bands. This radar can track a highly maneuverable air or surface target. Its target acquisition range is 30 km for the fighters and 15 km for the missiles. The radar can guide the Barrack-1 missile within a range of up to 10 km. The ELM-2221 can direct the 76mm gun against the surface target within an effective range of 20 km. However, the effective directing range of the radar against air targets is only 4 km. The HEDS class is equipped with three different types of decoy launchers. Depending on the models, a total of 140 decoys on the vessel provide a protective cover at a range of between 1.8 to 14 km. This feature makes the HEDS class the best protected missile boat in the world. Initially, both subclasses were equipped with the Harpoon and Gabriel Mark II anti-ship missiles. But the Israeli Navy now retired the Gabriel Mark IIs. The boats of the Mexican Navy do not have the Harpoons. The RGM-84 Harpoon has a maximum speed of Mach 0.85 and a range of 124 km. It is fitted with a 222kg warhead and a guidance system consisting of inertial navigation and active radar. The semi-active radar and manual guided Gabriel Mark II has a maximum speed of Mach 0.7 and a range of 36 km. It is fitted with a 150kg warhead. The vertically launched Barrack 1s provide 360 degree air defense coverage. This Comanto line of sight guided missile has a speed of Mach 2 
and an effective range of 10 km. It is equipped with a 22 kg warhead. This missile, which has a reaction time of 6 seconds, can conduct 45G maneuvers. The 76mm Compato has an effective range of 4 km for air targets and 16 km for surface targets. Its rate of fire is 85 rounds per minute. The Mark 15 Phalanx Close-In Weapon System has an effective range of 1.5 km and a rate of fire of 4,500 rounds per minute. The Phalanx of some boats are dismantled. Initially, the SAR 4.5 class boats were equipped with 20mm guns. But later, they were dismantled. Today, the vessels are fitted with 7.62 or 12.7mm machine guns, depending on the mission. If required, the SAR 4.5 class can be fitted with anti-submarine warfare systems, such as active, low-frequency towed sonar and lightweight homing torpedoes. Some sources claim that the Israeli Navy began to equip its Hutz class boats with the Spike and Loss missiles for precision attack capability against the coastal targets. These claims are based on the photos taken in 2017, but many other sources suggest that the launcher boxes on the boat may also belong to Spider or Iron Dome air defense missiles. There is no official statement. As we mentioned before, the first two SAR 4.5 class boats have aviation facilities. They are the smallest surface combatants with a helipad and hangar. During the Israeli service, the Navy deployed the Bell 206, MD500, HH-65 or Panther helicopters on the vessel. Today, the Huracan class of the Mexican Navy generally carry the BO-105 CBS-5s. Actually, the Israeli Navy had planned to use the helicopter for over-horizon targeting, but the performance was not satisfactory. Also, Israel has not experienced any long-range naval engagements since the 1980s. So, generally, the utility and attack helicopters had been deployed on the Alia class. Also, many times, the helipad had been used for carrying inflatable boats and the hangar for accommodating the commandos. Just before the 1982 Lebanon War, INS Gela was in the shipyard for repair. The work was completed immediately and she joined the war as the command ship of the landing operation. But the boat had no heavy gun for fire support and there was no target for its harpoons or gabriels. So, INS Geola did not participate in the war with a firing in anger. Two years later, two Alea class vessels were deployed to destroy a terrorist facility in Nahr el Baret located in northern Lebanon. They were carrying a total of four MD-500 defenders. Thus, for the first time, the Israeli Navy conducted a ship-based air operation in real combat. These helicopters conducted successful precision air strikes against the targets by using their anti-tank missiles. The Hetz class has played important roles in Israeli operations since the early 2000s. They were frequently used for fire support, shore shelling and naval blockade missions. One of the most notable took place in the Mediterranean in 2011. INS Sufa intercepted the freighter Victoria, which headed to the Gaza Strip. The Israeli Navy seized lots of ammunition, including C-704 anti-ship missiles. Three years later, INS Hatz intercepted the merchant vessel Klaus C, which carried rockets for Hamas in the Red Sea. The SAR 4.5 class was a logical next step for the Israeli missile boat program. These vessels were not just coastal water combatants. They have been one of the important elements which increased the blue water operational capability of the Israeli Navy. They have supported the ground operations and protected the Israeli waterways. With their distinguished service records, the SAR 4.5 class turned into an unforgettable naval legend for Israel. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel.